Residents at a Northeast Fresno mobile home park have been given notice. They have one year to sell or move their trailers out of La Hacienda mobile estate. Now tenants are worried they'll have nowhere to go and will end up homeless. Renters claim the company planned to kick them out all along, but Harmony Communities, which owns the property, says this decision was made after months of unpaid rent and people failing to follow the rules. I don't think there's a place in this town I could afford to rent on my income, on my uh, Social Security. Leslie Wright is worried about where she's going to live this time next year. About a week ago, she received a letter from the La Hacienda Mobile Estates saying the company was terminating the tenancy to permanently close the mobile home park. Action News reached out to Harmony Communities, the company that owns the mobile home park, to ask about the decision. In a statement, their chief operating officer said in part, quote, after two years of lawlessness, no rents paid, and people moving in and out without any registration application, we are attempting to restore order within the scope of state law and according to our agreement with the city of Fresno and the courts. But Wright says those allegations aren't true, at least not for her. We lost a room and shed. Everything we owned almost is gone. That's how willing we were to comply because it's, it's, it's easier to live here with them than it is to go try to find a place we can afford. The mobile home park changed ownership last year. In 2021, then Trails End Mobile Home Park had two fires that destroyed five homes and left a person dead. The city took control of the park before Harmony Estates agreed to purchase it last year at the protest of residents. Mariah Thompson with California Rural Legal Assistance is representing some of the residents. She previously argued Harmony Estates was known for buying mobile home parks and increasing rent. She spoke at the Fresno City Council meeting last week asking the city to step in and help. Now we were advised about what this company does. We presented hundreds of pages of evidence to you that they do this everywhere and they are doing it here. For tenants like Wright, they're working to stay in compliance while she, her son, and grandson try to figure out what to do next. We're going to fight it. If we can, we'll fight it until we can. Action News reached out to the city attorney's office for comment. So far, I've not heard back from them. But Councilmember Gary Bredefeld says the city is monitoring the situation. But since it's a private entity, right now the city has no plans to step in to stop the closure.